So I've been wanting to make Ray's blaster from the new Star Wars film to go along with my cosplay ideas. And I'm thinking I can make the LDA in N14. I think that's the code name. Or I think that's the, the model name. With just a tiny lathe and a tiny milling machine. So I'm trying to think, should I buy a tiny lathe and a tiny milling machine? Or should I build a tiny lathe and a tiny milling machine? Or should I just have somebody else build it? I don't know. Harbor Freight sells a $600 milling machine and a $600 lathe. So that's kind of cool. And they look like they're actually decent quality too. I could maybe carve out some space in the in the shed and put them in there, but I don't know if it would only be one use or not. You know what I mean? I could just make several of the guns, but oh well. Well, not guns. Blasters, I mean. Because they are just a prop, after all. They're not going to be like... They're not going to be a real blaster. Unless I can think of a few other things that I want to do with the lathe and the milling machine. But... I mostly... I don't know. Well, today I went to Halted to get some parts and I also got some personal stuff. Got this. It's a weird little box that I don't know what it does, but it was seven dollars. It's super rigid and it has a voltmeter in the front. So I'm thinking I'm gonna see about trying to turn this into a really cool battery-powered universal power supply. You have a little handle that'll come up off of here so you can carry it around. It'll be super rigid. It'll have a bunch of 18650s filling it up in there. It'll have a variable DC output so basically it can give anywhere from 0 to 24 volts DC and inside it has a 12 volt, it'll have, it'll have like a 12 volt battery and that'll be able to like jumpstart a car. Not real time It'll have to slowly charge up the battery and then let it jump start. You know what I mean? It's, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be able to start a battery start a car by itself, but I think it'd be kind of cool. For for seven bucks, this case is pretty nice. Oh yeah, because halted electronics is actually moving, so they have a lot of stuff that looks like they're just throwing away, and stuff they have pretty cheap too. Like for instance, they have a lot of these bins. This was five dollars, but it comes populated. Look at that stuff. Bunch of weird random chips. Fuses. Bunch of thumbtacks. Old ones, looks like. Just a bunch of cool stuff. Oh, these, um, these blue transistors. Those are pretty interesting. Or MOSFETs, whatever they are. So yeah, I couldn't pass that up for five bucks. I might, I don't know, start my own little collection of, or my own little, I keep it, I might keep this on my desk or something like that. I don't know. So that's pretty much it. I spend my day. Well. Hmm. I really should do something with this. If I could get this to power it, that'd be pretty cool. But, I don't know. Oh, interesting. Look at that. You can... It's a ball bearing. You evidently put grease underneath there, or oil. I should have some packages coming in, but I didn't see them. I'll have to go check to make sure they actually came in. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. See ya!